What do you think about the Chosen One Anakin Skywalker? Why would the Jedi think Force Balance was equal number light and dark side users when they actively want to stop all dark force users? People who ask that question aren't actually thinking. The Jedi are a religion. Their belief is that the dark side is a corruption of the Force, a spreading cancer. They perceive balance to be zero use of the dark side. I think he's a character that greatly fell short of his potential, creating the backstory to one of the most iconic villains of all time. And it feels a bit weak. Seeing a better written character given to death manipulation and his own flaws could have made a character than surpassed the original. Jedi ruined him. Over their last victories, Jedi were nothing more than a bunch of boomer cultists at that period they chose to be stubborn and to acknowledge the changes they required in order to take care of Anakin. Anakin Skywalker is who will restore balance to the Force and destroy the Sith. As foretold by an ancient Jedi mystic, Anakin's desire for control and inability to let go led him to the dark side, where he became consumed with power and possession. Oversaturated light sight, which has had dominion for how many years is nearly obliterated by the chosen one who brings balance by destroying that light sight, so that the dark side is dominant, seems completely within the balance idea to me. A ridiculous Mary Sue, he with no education has built himself a droid and a pod racer, is the best pod racer on the planet, and defeats the invading droid invasion flying a starship when he has never flown a starship before. He was manipulated by Palpatine he don't wanna let Padme die. However, at the end of three when he asked about her and Palptine said he killed her he knew then and there that Palptine was losing. But he kept following him. Anakin's journey from the Chosen One to Darth Vader is a light tale of immense potential corrupted by fear and darkness. It serves as a reminder of the complexities of the human psyche and the power of choice. The fact that we know how he would turn made his childlike tantrum lack a bit of credibility. They felt forced. A real chosen one would have display a much more nuanced judgment. He's like that star athlete who had it all but let the pressure get to him. Super talented but couldn't handle the dark side of the fame or in his case. The literal dark side. My favorite character from Star Wars. As he had good intentions. But let anger get the best of him and became stuck in his own poor choices only to redeem himself last second. It's all Yoda's fault. You can't tell a griving man to bottle up his emotions and hope nothing bad happens then. Imagine being like 900 years old and no wiser than a boomer. Terrible character, honestly. But then again, I'm an EU fan who doesn't care about canon because the best treatment of any of the story came from outside Lucas and Disney. I think he was the chosen one it was set that he would destroy the Sith, not join and bring balance to the Force, not leave it in darkness. He brought balance to the Force. It's the Jedi's issue that they didn't consider what that meant in a galaxy ruled by lawful good space knights. He fulfilled the prophecy, but it's still such a tragedy. He grew with a lot of trauma and had no idea how to handle it breaks my heart. I think it's revolting that people like you can't go a single day without making an unsolicited dork wars. Anakin's a classic case of good intentions gone wrong. Started out wanting to save everyone, but got twisted along the way. The force is some fuped up shit. Couple billion people died for balance between space knights and evil space knights. There were a crapload of Jedi, and very few Sith so he brought balance to the Force by killing off a crapload of Jedi. Anakin was just trying to be the Sand's Shuffle, but he became the Sandstorm. Force is all about perspective in it. He did what he was meant to, too much light and not enough darkness. So he balanced it out like he was meant to. He seems like a stand-up dude. A true hero of the Republic things will always work out okay with him around. He brought balance to the Force is what he did, and in this house, Anakin Skywalker was a hero end of story. I'm happy he was able to redeem himself, but what he did to those Podowans will always stay in my memory. Nice boy, albeit a tad bit horny. That is until things got a little toasty, and he overreacted a bit. He brought balance to the force by banging a chick. There. 
Now you don't have to watch the movies. I ponder what he would have turned out like if Kyuai Gong could have trained and mentored him fully. He's weak. He's out of control. And he's become an embarrassment to himself and everybody else. He did bring balance to the Force by slaughtering all the Jedi and Sith. Well, dot 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 sort of. He went way overboard on the younglings. Definitely sabred too many. Like way too many. He did bring balance to the Force. The prophecy never specified how long it would take. He doesn't like sun dot 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 its course. Rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. Relatable for many reasons. Mostly for being awkward around women lol. He brought peace. Freedom. Justice. And security to his new empire. Who chose him? I didn't choose anyone. Why doesn't my vote count? Hot take he was supposed to destroy the Sith. Not join them.